Hey friends, today I wanted to share something exciting with you and that is that Svelte now natively supports TypeScript. And what do I mean by that? Didn't all of those headlines imply that Svelte abandoned TypeScript? So now it natively supports it, what? And of course everyone knows this is not true. Svelte never abandoned TypeScript, it just uses JS docs for the types and then it generates the types. So what does this really mean? Well, this means that now that you can use TypeScript in your Svelte markup. So previously this is something that wasn't possible before. If I look at this code example, so something like this, you would really run quickly into problems. So here I'm using this input event listener and I'm saying etarget.value. And now when you would hover it, it says, okay, target is possibly null. Then you're like, okay. And now it says property value does not exist on types. So you're like, okay, I'm like really tired. Of it. Let me just quickly cast this or whatever. So you can say probably shtml input value. And then probably rubbing your hands together, you're like, okay, my job here is done. And then you save and you didn't even notice this and you refresh your site and then everything breaks. You get an error. And why is that? Well, basically the Svelte compiler has no idea about this TypeScript syntax in your Svelte markup, right? But now it does. So let me just really quickly show you. So in package.json, if I open it, you can see here I'm using the Svelte 5 version. So this is specific to Svelte 5. If you're using the stable Svelte 4 version, then this doesn't work yet. But here is what you can do. So you can try out Svelte in different ways. You can say, for example, npm create Svelte get latest. So this is going to give you the option to try the Svelte beta version out. Or if you just want to upgrade the package, you can say npm i Svelte latest. Or actually, it's Svelte next. And I'm using pnpm here, so I'm going to say pnpm at Svelte next, so we're going to see it's going to update to the latest version, which should be 0.9. And let me just run the development server again. And that should be it. So now if you look at the package JSON here, we're using this version 0.9. And we can even look at the releases here. And we can see 0.9 release added the TypeScript support. So here it is, 0.9. All right, beautiful. So now when I go here, and if everything still doesn't work, you can always say, reload actually restart language server so this should work your editor at least okay so now you can see everything works as expected so now when i go here we no longer get an error everything works as expected now you can use the types here so now for example if i say dot value and that's basically it all right so let's look at another example so here i have just this simple array with some items all active completed and i get this error here Type string is not assignable to type filter. And why it is? Because this array is inferred to be of type string inside, right? So if you hover over option, we can see that this is of type string. Hmm. All right, so now you would have to take this and you would have to put it inside your script tag right here. Maybe you can add a type, but when you're doing something quick or etc., something simple, maybe you don't want to do this. And now you don't have to. So how can we turn this into a union string? Well, we can just say as const. And now we can see it might look confusing because we're using as here and as is also a keyword in this each loop. So as you can see, this was for a long time complicated to implement because of these edge cases, but you can see now this works as expected. So now if we hover over option, we can see that this is inferred as a union, all active completed. So now there is really no problem when you reassign the option to the filter and everything works as expected and there are no errors. So let's look at this last example of a snippet. And this is something new to Svelte 5. You can check out my previous video if you want to learn more about snippets, but basically snippets allow you to reuse your markup more easily in Svelte. And here we have this problem. So here I have this li snippet and I'm passing this item, which is inferred as any, right? But if I go here to my options, here I have item selected and on select, I'm saying that we can just pass a number and then everything works fine. We can reassign selected to this item, which is a number, but Svelte has no idea about this, right? That this is a number. So now we can go here and we can say, okay, this is a number. Cool. So now everything works as expected. All right. So that's basically it, friends. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe and you can support me by becoming a patron. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one. Peace.